It's the external expression of grief. Once we've identified what's occurring inside of us, it is essential, it is absolutely essential to go public with the internal. So to use the phrase that we selected to name the program, we need to go deep and connect with that which is occurring inside of us, and then we need to push it out. And that's the way we're gonna renew our heart. It sounds simple. I promise you, I promise you, that mourning is a path to renewal and healing. I promise you. There's a problem. There's a problem here. Mourning, it's socially unacceptable. After maybe about three days, if someone dies, but come on, we're out having a beer, or we're playing cards, or it's book club, or we're out for a walk. I don't want to hear you moan and groan. Every single person on the panel said, it's fascinating, it's fascinating. Everyone on the panel said, I live in an environment, I live in an environment where I am not allowed to mourn. So I need to seek another environment. If I rely on my family, I will not be able to heal. It needs to be healed as a result of my job. Do you follow me there? Yep. Unfortunately, mourning is socially unacceptable. Most people think that their job is to get us to stop feeling the feelings. <coughs> if only I can get you to stop feeling the feelings. Have a drink. Let's go see a movie, a uh, great ice cream cone. That is going to get you to perk up, to be happy, to smile. The truth of the matter is, is feeling the feelings is not the problem. Feeling the feelings, connecting with that which is occurring inside of us, that's the path to healing and renewal. We're in trouble here because there's a huge disconnect. It is socially unacceptable in most situations to mourn, particularly after the other person's appropriate time frame has come and gone. You should be done by now. 